Yo guys, welcome again to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. And kindly, if you have not uh, subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Sit back. Today we also have a very hot topic today. Uh, today we are going to talk matters also sex. That's what we are going to talk about today. Uh, like I always say, uh, matter sex are sensitive, but uh, they are very vital in human life. So human sexuality is very important. That's why in this channel we get to discuss it. Today we are going to discuss about 12 shocking health risks involved if you are not having sex. In short, I'm saying what happens if you take a very long time without uh, having that uh, sex thing. So that's what we are going to talk about guys today. So sit back and, know, and, uh, and watch. Uh, I want to appreciate those who are watching the channel and also taking our channel to the next level. That's what uh, we want, guys. Uh, we are really growing. We are having a lot of views and also our time is really improving. Maybe God willing, very soon we are going to have the uh, monetization of the channel. Uh, kindly like the video by liking the video you'll uh, you get YouTube to recommend us to a larger population and Because we want the information as sensitive as this can reach many uh, many people and also get to The information gets to the appropriate population as much as possible. So sit back guys and welcome so when we talk about uh, the health risk uh, I'm talking about the 12 shocking health risks of not having sex. So, not, a, not having uh, sex can have several health impact, implications, which are both physical and psychological. And the 12 potential health risks associated with the lack of sexual activity, uh, as I'm going to state them as follows. Number one, increased stress levels. Increased stress levels especially this thing comes about like uh, uh, we used to joke somewhere where I was an employee somewhere we used to have uh, this single lady there working as our manager she really used to be very annoyed and uh, some people are associating it to, the, to her being single and not associating with the, the other gender so it was a at that time it looks like a joke but due to the some studies I've done actually with the uh, with no with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with no this uh, sexual activity you have increased stress levels so the risk of this uh, is that higher stress and anxiety due to <coughs> sorry guy <coughs> uh, don't know why I'm sneezing a bit of an allergic reaction. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So, risk high stress and anxiety levels due to the absence of stress relieving benefits of the sexual activity. Like we, we've uh, done our previous videos, sex is a, a, a stress reliever. So, when you lack it, you lack the, the benefits of uh, that stress levels being curbed. So the explanation of this is because sex releases endorphins and also oxytocin which help reduce stress and also improve relaxation. So you are, if you don't get, you lack it for a long time, you are likely to increase stress levels because of the effect on the release of oxytocin and endorphins which are likely, which are supposed to manage your stress levels. Number two is about weak weaker immune system. The risk is that uh, reduced immune function and increased susceptibility to illness. So if your immunity is down, you are likely to get more sick because uh, you, are, and you, are supposed, you are also likely to be exposed to uh, sickness. So the explanation through this is that uh, regular sexual activity can boost the immune system by increasing the levels of immunoglobin A or what you call IgA in the body. So IgA also takes care of the researchers of the body, which protect us from uh, diseases and also 
are infections. Number three is about lower libido. The, because, because of the decreased sexual desire and arousal over time, uh, regular sexu sexual activity uh, impre can uh, help maintain the healthy libido. So lower libido, as you keep away from the sexual activity, the libido is likely to go down because now the body gets to forget about it. Cardiovascular issues, uh, it has been shown through the studies that uh, people who don't practice this or who are away from it for a long time, it's likely that uh, they will experience uh, cardiovascular issues because of the increased risk of heart disease and other cardiovascular problems. Because sexual activity is a form of physical activity, uh, sexual activity is a form of physical exercise that improves the heart health and also circulation. Number five is about the mental health decline. Because uh, with, uh, with lack of this, you are at a higher risk of experiencing depression and the mood uh, disorders. So, so if you lack sex for a long time, you are likely to have uh, problems with uh, uh, increased uh, uh, depression and also mood disorders. So the release of endorphins and also feel good hormones during sexual activity can boost mood and also overall mental well-being. Number six about reduced uh, intimacy in relationships. Weaker emotional bonds and intimacy with a partner because of keeping away from your partner for a long time. So the explanation is that the sexual activity enhances emotional connection and the intimacy in relationships. So if you want your relationship to improve, it's high time that you get to uh, experience uh, this uh, sexual activity uh, from one time to time. It gets to bond uh, both of you together as much as possible. So also we have uh, prostate health problems in men because uh, with uh, the lack of this sex for a long time, it uh, bring about uh, prostate issues, including the prostate cancer things. So regular ejaculation, uh, ejaculation has been shown to reduce the risk of prostate cancer by uh, flushing out uh, possible carcinogens. Uh, which are likely to cause the prostate cancer. So prostate health problems, especially for men who abstain for sex from a, for a long time for some reasons, it is likely to predispose you to prostate health problems. Poor vaginal health in women, where increased risk of vaginal atrophy, dryness and discomfort is a risk. Then the explanation for this is that regular sexual activity help maintain vaginal elasticity and also replication. So it is good, it's recommended for ladies to have it so that you prevent the risk of vaginal dryness, uh, discomfort and also uh, uh, atrophy with, because regular sexual activity it maintains the, uh, the vaginal elasticity, elasticity and also replication. Number nine is about decreased cognitive function. The risk with this is potential decline in cognitive ab abilities and memory. Actually, sexual, sexual activity gets to activate our, our mind and also memory to recognize and also to have the cognitive function of it. So it has been linked to improve the brain uh, function and memory due to increased blood flow and also release of uh, certain hormones which help us with cognitive function of the body. Number 11 is uh, this is also lower self-esteem. Reduced self-confidence and the body image issues come about when you don't have it regularly. So the explanation for this is that sexual activity can boost self-esteem and the body image through physical and also uh, emotional intimacy. Uh, number 12, you'll be surprised about it, it's about shorter lifespan. Uh, so uh, lack of sexual activity has been shown to reduce is a potential to reduce uh, life expectancy uh, all the time one stay, uh, lives in a lifetime. So the explanation for this, some studies suggest that regular sexual activity is associated with increased longevity, possibly due to its positive effect on the physical and also the mental health at the end of the day. While sexual activity is just a health lifestyle, its absence can have several health implications. So maintaining our well-being through regular exercise, balanced diet also, stress management, and also uh, uh, and also maintaining overall well-being 
through a cell regular exercise, balanced diet, stress management, and a strong emotional connections is very key, uh, which can help mitigate some other risks. So managing health risks associated with not having sex involves adopting comprehensive approach to maintain the physical, emotional, psychological well-being. So uh, some of the strategies to, make it, to mitigate these risks include, uh, like I've, uh, I've mentioned, regular physical activity, engage in regular uh, physical activity, uh, such as walking, running, swimming, or yoga, this very, very health, to improve the cardiovascular health, boost mood, and also reduce stress and enhance overall uh, fitness. Healthy diet is another number two thing to reduce the risk of this. Uh, maintain a balanced diet like uh, take fruits, vegetables, or grain, lean proteins, and healthy fats. This supports immune system and also heart health and also overall well-being. Uh, stress management is another very uh, key thing because uh, when you practice reducing uh, sex, uh, stress reducing techniques such as yoga, meditation, also mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, and also engaging in uh, the hobbies is very key, which it helps to reduce the anxiety, improve mental health, and then enhance overall quality of life. Emotional and psychological support is another thing where uh, you seek uh, counseling for therapy to address uh, emotional psychological concerns. So with improved health, uh, mental health, it reduces the risk of depression and it enhances emotional resilience, which is very key. Social connections is uh, also another aspect where well, you foster strong social relationships and maintain an active social life. This enhances support and also reduces feelings of loneliness and improves the overall uh, happiness. So also number six is about intimacy without intercourse. And when we, take, we talk about this, we, we engage in a sexual uh, form of intimacy such as cuddling, kissing. And affectionate touch it maintains the uh, this helps to maintain the emotional closeness and also intimacy in relationships number seven is sleep hygiene establish regular sleep routine create comfortable sleep environment you should have a good bed where you sleep on and avoid avoid screens before uh, bedtime that's very key this improves the quality of life and health of what uh, and also your overall health uh, health Regular medical checkup is also another aspect which you should look at, where uh, schedule regular uh, visit with your healthcare providers, where who can address your health health issues and address any concerns for early detections and also management of potential health issues uh, to help you. Also, for another aspect is about prostate health for men. Uh, discuss your potential with the, the with their uh, healthcare. Your potential uh, uh, to discuss the issues of your prostate at the end of the day, and so that you you decrease the risk of problems of the of the of the prostate, and also maintain your overall reproductive health. And for women, also vaginal health for women is very key the, by the use of moisturizers and also lubricants to maintain the vaginal health as much as possible. This prevents the vaginal dryness and also discomfort at the end of the day, which can really affect the way uh, one functions. So it's very key that uh, you get to address the dryness uh, with the use of moisturizers and also lubricants as much as uh, possible. Also very key is about cognitive activities where you stimulate your brain with this, uh, things like puzzles, reading, and also learning new skills is very key to enhance the cognitive function and also memory. Number 12 is about self-esteem and body image, where you practice self-care and also positive self-talk to boost self-esteem and the body image. This helps to improve confidence and overall mental health at the end of the day. So by implementing such strategies, the individuals can manage uh, the health risks associated with not having sex and maintain overall well-being. So regular self-care, emotional support, medical checkups are essential for a healthy and a fulfilling life at the end of the day. So sometimes we may have some complications arising from uh, lack of, uh, of this uh, 
uh, sex life in an individual and when we have uh, such kind of things sometimes they are very detrimental number one we can have complications such as uh, 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 and this can be both physical and psychological at the end of the day so and some of the potential uh, complications number one is that cardiovascular related number one we may have cardiovascular health challenges where we have increased uh, heart disease and hypertension problems uh, because like i've mentioned sex is a form of sexual of uh, exercise physical exercise that can improve the cardiovascular health and the blood circulation immune system because weakened immune response can also come up and uh, predispose one to higher infections because of the decreased level of what you call immunoglobin uh, a or IgA which really protects our body against the diseases prostate health and vaginal health for women like I've mentioned vaginal dryness and prostate problems because uh, regular ejaculation helps to flush out toxins and also lack, uh, dec with decreased uh, sexual activity we have vaginal atrophy dryness and also discomfort at the end of the day so self-esteem and body image also can come up because uh, yo guys, the channel is Nasvin. Can if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe by liking the video. You get YouTube to recommend us, so that uh, matter sensitive as this se as, as sex as discussed in this in this video can reach as many people as possible, so that we get to help the larger population with uh, the critical information such as this. So number seven, self esteem and also body image is very key. So lower self-esteem and uh, negative body image come about because of the uh, se uh, sexual activity can bo also boost uh, and improve body image through physical and also emotional intimacy. Sleep problems also can come up as a complication because uh, the, the hormones like prolactin and also oxytocin during sex promote relaxation and improve the quality of life. But when they lack, we have challenges with sleep. Cognitive function where sexual activity can be linked to improved brain function and the memory due to increased blood flow and also hormone re release. So when we don't have it as a complication, we have potential decline in cognitive uh, abilities and also memory. Stress and anxiety can also pop in where we have higher levels of chronic stress and anxiety and also because of the sex uh, reduces stress hormones and promotes relaxation, but lack of it, of it, we have chronic stress and anxiety. Hormonal imbalances can also uh, come about because of uh, this uh, sexual activity uh, helps to regulate the hormones uh, like the sterone and the estrogen. So lack of uh, this disruption of the hormones levels can affect the mood, libido and overall health. Longevity, uh, potential reduction in life expectancy is also another complication because uh, from the studies, a regular sexual activity is associated with longevity due to its positive effect on the physical and also on the mental health. How do we manage these complications? Medical consultation is number one, where you seek advice from the healthcare provider for regular checkups. The benefit of this is early detection and management of health issues to prevent complications. Health lifestyle is also another way you can manage the complications. Maintain healthy diet, regular exercise, and good sleep hygiene. This supports the overall health, supports the overall health of an individual and it reduces the risk of various complications. Psychological support is also another one where you seek counseling or therapy to address the mental health issues such as depression and also anxiety and stress. This one improves the mental health and also emotional well-being of the individual. Social support and emotional support they are very key because they foster the social connections and uh, engaging in uh, and engaging in sexual forms of intimacy this enhances emotional support reduces lo loneliness and also maintain intimacy in relationships education and the resources so stay informed about sexual health availability of uh, resources of support is for support is very key which help one to empower to be empowered to take uh, proactive steps in managing the health while the lack of sexual activity can lead to various complications, adopting a healthy lifestyle is very key. Seeking medical and uh, psychological support is another aspect. And maintaining a strong social uh, connection 
can mitigate the risks and promote the overall uh, well-being at the end of the day. So things like uh, regular exercise, uh, balanced diet, uh, adequate sleep. We talk about seven to nine hour, nine hours of sleep, quality sleep in the night to support mental and physical health. Stress management, I've talked about uh, relaxation techniques and hobbies and interests. These are very key, which can, can help one. And also we have emotional and uh, psychological well-being where we have counseling and therapy to help one address the psychological issues social connection like joining support groups community activities and also being connected with friends it can help one to support to be supported emotional intimacy and relationships and sexual uh, intimacy can also be, play a very great role you foster intimacy with your partner through activities like cuddling kissing and also holding hands and a meaningful uh, conversation is very key so open communication is very key to discuss your feelings, needs and concerns with your partner to maintain a strong emotional bond. Sexual health education is also a very key where you stay informed. Educate yourself about your sexual health including benefits of sexual activity and uh, ways to maintain sexual health as you age. So access uh, resources, utilize reputable sources such as this Nasvin channel is a reputable source for information such as this. Books also, we have special books which you can also access this. Online resources to learn more about sexual health and also well-being. Medical checkups, they are very key. Where you reg we go for regular medical checkups uh, with the healthcare provider to monitor your overall health and also address any potential issues early. Prostate health for men where discuss prostate health with your healthcare provider to consider regular screening, vaginal health for women, use uh, of moisturizers and lubricants to prevent dryness and discomfort and consult the healthcare provider about maintaining your vaginal health. Cognitive and uh, mental uh, stimulation is another one. Where mental exercises engage uh, in things like uh, puzzles, reading, and also learning new skills and playing musical instruments to always make your brain active. Stay active mentally, participate in discussions, take up new hobbies, and stay curious uh, to keep your mind sharp. Hormonal balance, monitor hormonal health, where you discuss your healthcare provider about hormonal imbalances, and also consider uh, treatments if uh, necessary, guys. Also, a healthy lifestyle is very key. Maintain a healthy lifestyle to support the balanced hormone levels uh, naturally. Self-esteem and the body image, Post, you should also have, you should have something we call positive uh, self-talk. You practice self-care and uh, positive affirmation to boost self-esteem and also improve image. Healthy habits is another one where you engage in regular physical activity and eat balanced diet to feel good about your body and overall health. Uh, Mind-body connection is another way, one where we do holistic practices. We, we consider holistic uh, practices such as acupuncture, tai chi or massage therapy to promote overall well-being and enhance mind-body uh, connection. By adopting these preventive measures, individuals can mitigate the health risks associated with uh, not having sex and maintaining high quality of life. So regular self-care, emotional support and medical checkups are essential for overall and also well-being. So, while not having sex can lead to various risks, complications, there are effective strategies which can manage these issues. Maintaining physical health through regular exercise, balanced diet, and adequate sleep is very crucial. Managing stress with the relaxation techniques and engaging in enjoyable activities supports well-being. Strong social connections and emotional intimacy is another way which partners can counteract feelings of loneliness and reduce uh, stress. So regular medical checkups and education about sexual health are essential for early detection or management of potential uh, health issues. Strengthening self-esteem uh, and the body image through positive self-talk and uh, healthy habits is very beneficial. By engaging in cognitive and mental activities which help maintain cognitive function and overall mental health, so by adopting proactive measures, individuals can enhance their overall well-being and mitigate the risk associated with not having sex and enjoy a very fulfilling and healthy life, which is our aim in this channel. 
Guys, welcome. The channel is Nurse Vin. My name is Vincent. Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand. Uh, that's why we recommend that you like the video so that you can reach. Uh, YouTube can recommend us. We reach many as many, as many people as possible so that the information such as sensitive as this can reach many people as many as possible. Guys, share, like, give us a nice comment below. Give us promotions to do for you in, this, in the channel. We are open here. Uh, we can do a promotion for your product. If you have a product which you need uh, us to advertise for you, you can uh, DM us. We have our email there. You can DM us so that we can always share and also uh, take this channel to the next level. Guys, we love you very much and peace, guys. We love you very much.